Yo, what's up, guys? It's a new reason for a new season, baby. So, <laughs> <laughs> <What? Hey. laughs> All right, so we on what? Season seven? Season seven. There's seven episodes in this, which is whack, man. We want at least like 10. Or 12 if you Yeah, if maybe you throw be in an extra, you know? Uh, this is going to go by really fast, which sucks, because we're really closing this show out, man. So let us know. I was thinking about it, man. We're seven seasons in so far, and let us know so far, what is your favorite moment from not just the Game of Thrones journey, you can definitely let us know that too, but from our journey. Yeah. Is there a moment in particular that just stands out to you? Uh, what about you, babe? Number one moment so far, go. Oh man, how are you gonna put me on the spot? But- You always on the spot. God, you in the, you're man. in the hot seat right now. From the whole series so far? Best, what's best part. Oh, I was about to say something that wasn't even related to Game of Thrones on accident because there's so many. Yeah, basically I'm glad that there's not enough time to continue this because I don't have one either, man. There's been so many. So let's start a new uh, season and then maybe we can answer it. Yeah. Yeah, that's impossible. Impossible. Right. Cause I was gonna say maybe when the Starks retook Winterfell, that's an incredible I was gonna moment. Say, I was gonna say like in the recent times it, it was Sansa and Jon reuniting. That's and also a, a perfect time also was when Brienne like got under Sansa basically. That whole speech. Yeah. That was great. And when we just found out that that John was the baby in the castle. Good moment. Man. Yeah, it's impossible, man. Let us know. Uh maybe Daenerys, you know. And there's, there's been moments Daenerys with her, there's been moments with Tyrion. I could go on, you guys. This show's Thank you, Patreon, for making us watch it. All right, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Season seven. Let's go. Drop down box. Bop. Click bop, Sev. Bop, 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 Dragonstone. <gasps> oh, D? Oh, hold on. No spoilers. No spoilers. <laughs> what? Why'd you just blow on me? Because you just comped in my face. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm still sick. I was like polite, you know what I'm saying, guys? And then she's like, watch it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick. Why'd you blow on me, boy? <laughs> you know what? I don't like you anymore. You acting like Raza Ghoul. You are Raza Ghoul. Water. I thought she just him. Did she take his face? <gasps> Maybe. You're wondering why I brought you all here. After all, we just had a feast. Since when does old Walter give us two feasts in a single fortnight? I never <laughs> thought of that, that Arya could do this. Well, it's, nice. it's no good being Lord of the Riverlands if you can't celebrate with your family. That's what I say. Yeah, this isn't Walter. He's too chipper. I've gathered every fray who means a damn thing. She's getting rid of their family, their whole family. Now that winter has come, but first, a toast. How are they going to die? Gornish horse piss. <gasps> This is the finest Poison. Gold. Let's go. Proper she's wine. old. She's the Jones telling them. Stand together. Bro. Yeah. Well, if they die, I hope so. Let's he didn't go. even tell them. <laughs> yes, yes. <clears throat> she didn't drink it because I know it's her. Not you. I'm not wasting good wine on a damn woman. <laughs> Saved her life. Maybe I'm not the most pleasant man i'll admit it but i'm proud of you lot you're my family the men who helped me slaughter the starks at the red wedding yeah. we sure are it was yeah. us play the rings of castamere play it right now <laughs> Hi, <Free Bird>. men, <laughs> all of you butchered a woman pregnant with her babe cut the throat of a mother of five Slaughtered your guests after inviting them into your home. They did say they would get cursed for it, remember? But you didn't slaughter every one of the Starks. Mm -mm -mm. No, no. That was they forgot about the short-haired one. You should have ripped them all out, root and stem. That's a common theme, root and stem. They always say that. Leave one wolf alive and the sheep are never safe. <laughs> This is the only time I like Walter Frey. <laughs> <laughs> yes. When people ask you what happened here, tell them the North remembers. <sighs> tell them winter came for House Frey. She's like, yes, my lord. <laughs> yes, my lady. Yeah, Whatever you say. She's confused though, because she thinks this. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Arya. That deliverance, that Sounds revenge. Good. What a start to it. I'm already about to cry though. Why are you crying? Because that I didn't. I I love that revenge. <laughs> 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 I love that. That was cold. I liked it. 
Dragon Zone. That seems like the place you'd pull up to. Well, that's where she's from. Hey, nothing's way over there. I know it's changed a lot. I didn't realize how far of a journey that was for them. Yeah. Jeez. Well, I don't think it was for Sam and Gilly, like after they left where he was from in the Reach. But you're right. But from the wall. All, that's a, yeah. Yeah. I was thinking like wall and then over there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With a baby? That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, we might see the dead right here. That really does look like the Undertaker. Is that winter actually coming? Looks like it's coming to me. <laughs> That's how I describe it. Like, it's coming. <laughs> oh, it's coming. <gasps> I know. Look at him. Shut up. We said it right. He's gonna come back as a zombie. Y'all should have yeah. burned him. Mm. Multiple. Well, yeah, because a lot of them's died up there. Oh, remember? <gasps> and they just didn't burn them. Well, because the other one died. The other one died south of the wall. Remember, he died in Winterfell at the gate. So that's why they're all about burning people all over the world. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude. Mira's like, I'm no Hodor, but I got this. Man, give that girl some water. She's probably tired dragging him. You wildlings. I'm Mira Reed, daughter of Howland Reed. This is Brandon Stark, son of Ned Stark. Let's go. Wow. Let's hold him right there. Now do I know that's true? You've seen the army of the dead. You've seen the Night King. He's coming for us, for all of us. He's like in route right now. Come on. Let's get them inside. Let's go, Ed. With two Ds. We should call him two Ds. I want every northern major <laughs> to scour their records for any mention of dragon glass. We need to find it. We need to mine it. We need to make weapons from it. Everyone aged 10 to 60 will drill daily with spears, pikes, bow and arrow. It's about time we taught these boys of summer how to fight. Not just the boys. We can't defend the north if only half the population is fighting. Yeah, that's true, you man. You expect me to put a spear in my granddaughter's hand? Aye. I don't plan on knitting by the fire while men fight for me. I might be small, Lord Glover, and I might be a girl, but I am every bit as much a northerner as you. Indeed you are, my lady. No one and is quite... And I don't need your permission <laughs> to defend the north. Let's go, Ellie. We'll begin training every man, woman, boy, and girl on Bear Island. I was about to say, that girl from Bear Island right there. The only thing standing between us and the army of the dead is the wall, and the wall hasn't been properly manned in centuries. I'm not the king of the free folk, but if we're going to survive this winter together... <sighs> you want us to man the castles for you? Last time we saw the Night King was at Hardhome. The closest castle to Hardhome is Eastwatch by the sea. Mm -hmm. And that's where I'll go. Looks like we're the Night's Watch now. I want to go to Eastwatch, because mm -hmm. I haven't really... I've been wanting if to go there for a while. If they breach the wall... <laughs> the Ambers and the Karstarks betrayed the North. The castle should be torn down with not a stone left standing. The mm -hmm. castle's committed no crimes. <laughs> and we need every fortress we have for the war to come. We should give the last hearth and car hold to new families. Loyal families who supported us against Ramsay. Who? Right. The Umbers and the Car Starks have fought beside the Starks for centuries. They've Let's kept go, faith John. for generation after generation. And then they broke faith. I'm not going to strip these families of their ancestral homes because of the crimes of a few reckless sons. So there's no punishment for treason and no reward for loyalty. Uh oh. Mm. Give it to Pod and Brienne. John's thinking bigger picture, I think. Treason is death. Small John Umber died on the field of battle. Harold Carstark died on the field of battle. They died fighting for Ramsay. Give the castles to the families of the men who died fighting for you. So they like that? No, Littlefinger likes that because the it's more they're fighting, yeah, stuff. he can infiltrate and yeah. control the situation. When I was Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, in your last life. I executed men who betrayed me. My father always said, the man who passes the sentence should swing the sword, and I have tried to live by those words. Stay warm, baby. Punish a son for his father's sins, and I will not take a family home away from a family it has belonged to for centuries. That is my decision, and my decision is fine. May we interject real quick? So obviously we want to talk about it. And we don't want to interrupt the video. So I think that the reason John's taking such a stand is because he understands that winter's coming, quote unquote. And he understands that it doesn't matter how many betrayals in the past, like it's the living versus You need the dead. everybody to bend together. And I don't this. think that he understands. I don't think that Sansa really understands she that. Hasn't she's, seen it. she's thinking like politically in terms of like geopolitically, but she's not really recognizing. Well, she's only been playing the game the whole time. Like she right. hasn't really seen the real the real stuff. Sorry, sorry for interrupting us. And my decision is fine. But I totally see what she means, though. Ned Oma. Aww. 
Alice Carstock. She looks like Sansa. For centuries, our families fought side by side on the battlefield. I ask you to pledge your loyalty once again to House Stark, to serve as our bannerman and come to our aid whenever called upon. I don't know, man. That's hard to put your faith in two kids like that, though. It is, but maybe it'll breed them loyal. Yesterday's wars don't matter anymore. The North needs to band together. All the living North. Will you stand beside me, Ned and Alice? Now and always. Now and always. I'm about tired of Peter Baelish's face. You are my sister, but I am king now. Can you start wearing a crown? When you question my decisions in front of the other lords and ladies, you undermine me. You can't question your decisions anymore. Of course you can, but... Joffrey some... never let anyone question his authority. You think he was a good king? <laughs> That's not what he's saying, though. <laughs> Do you think I'm Joffrey? You're as far from Joffrey as anyone I've ever met. <laughs> Thank right. you. You're good at this, you know. At what? At ruling. They respect you, they really do, but you have to... What did father used to say? Everything before the word butt is horse shit. <laughs> I didn't realize she was taller than him. She's the Dark Phoenix, you know. He never wanted us to see how dirty the world really is, but father couldn't protect me, neither can you. Stop trying. All right, I'll stop trying to protect you, and you stop trying to undermine me. I'm not trying to undermine you. You have to be smarter than father. You need to be smarter than Rob. I loved them, I missed them, but they made stupid mistakes, and they both lost their heads for it. And how should I be smarter? By listening to you. Would that be so terrible? <laughs> a raven from King's Landing, your grace. Cersei of House Lannister, first of her name, Queen of the Andals and the First Men. Cersei versus John. The Seven Kingdoms. What does she want? Come to King's Landing, bend the knee, or suffer the fate of all traitors. <laughs> <laughs> You're so consumed with the enemy to the north, you've forgotten about the one to the south. I'm consumed with the Night King because I've seen him. Winter is here. The Lannisters are a southern army. They've never ranged this far north. You're the military man, but I know her. If you're her enemy, she'll never stop until she's destroyed you. Everyone who's ever crossed her, she's found a way to murder. But she's alive. You almost sound as if you admire her. Maybe she does. I learned a great deal from her. See, she's alive, but she's not a dead person. So that's why he's not intimidated. Yeah, for sure. But I'm saying she's alive because she's still here. So she knows like how to survive in this world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think she like admires her. I definitely think that she just recognizes how ruthless she is. Right. But she knows she's smart because like, like mm -hmm. you win or you and die. Why not like take those traits and learn from them? What are they painting? What is this? A war room. It's what we've been waiting for our whole lives. Father trained us for whether he knew it or not. He knew it. It's ours now. We just have to take it. You've been quiet since you came home. You're angry with me. No. I was angry. You afraid of me? Maybe. Should I be? <laughs> Daenerys Targaryen has chosen Tyrion to be her hand. Right now they're sailing across the narrow sea, hoping to take back her father's throne. Look at that dress. It's so cool. The one you love so much. The one you set free. The one who murdered our father and our firstborn son. Now he stands beside our enemies and gives them counsel. The propaganda. He's out there somewhere at the head of an armada. Well, from her perspective, it's true. Right. Where will they land? Dragonstone. They have deep water ports for the ships. Stannis left the castle unoccupied, and that's where she was born. Enemies to the east. Enemies to the south. Hilaria Sand and her brood of bitches. <laughs> <It's> to the <laughs> west. <laughs> oh, Len, another traitor. All the enemies. Enemies to the north. Ned Stark's bastard has been named king in the north and that murdering whore Sansa stands beside him. Enemies everywhere. We're surrounded by traitors. You're in command of the Lannister army now. How do we proceed? Wow. Here. We can't win a war if we can't feed our men and our horses. The Tyrells have the grain. The Tyrells have the livestock. Will the Tyrell bannermen stand alongside a Dothraki horde and unsullied slave soldiers? If they think Daenerys will win, no one wants to fight on the losing side right now. They like say that a lot. Side. I didn't realize the situation they were in. Like I did, but just how everyone's against painting him. it on the floor really helped put it into perspective. Absolutely. I understand we're in a war for survival. I understand whoever loses dies. I understand whoever wins could launch a dynasty that lasts a thousand years. A dynasty for whom? Our children are dead. We're the last of us. A dynasty for us then. We never talked about Tommen. There's nothing to say. Our baby boy killed himself. He betrayed me. He betrayed us both. The ashes now, and we're still flesh and blood. The last Lannisters, the last ones you count. Oh, Tyrion, don't count. So that's why she was colder towards Tommen's death. Right. Even Lannisters can't survive without allies. Where are our allies now? You saw what happened to Walder Frey and his family. I heard. But the Frey supported us. Now they're all dead. Whoever killed them is no friend of ours. We need allies. Stronger, better allies. We can't win this war alone. 
They'd be shocked if they knew it was Arya. I, I know, listened right? to father for 40 years and learned nothing. It scares me. Right? Oh, shh. I'm not even going to say it. Ain't that the Greyjoys? Sugar honey iced tea, huh? That's the Greyjoys. I know. But is that Theon and Yara or is that Mr. Buildership? Well, that, sh that stressed me out because that just seems like the demise of the Lannisters. Yeah. Like, we're just on them, you know? And look at what they're up and against. And they have the kingdom, right? Yeah. The Lannisters at this point are basically just two two people that everyone hates. Mm -hmm. like, that's, that's all they are against all this. The happiest day in, in King's Landing was when Cersei had to go through the streets. Who invited the Greyjoys to King's Landing? I invited your own Greyjoy. The oh, new I thought they were pulling Lannis. up to the air. You said yourself we needed stronger, better allies. There you are. How are they better allies? How are they different from the phrase? They both broke their promises and murdered their former friends as soon as it suited them. And so does everyone when it suits them. Unlike the phrase, they have ships and they're good at killing. They're not good at anything. I know the Ironborn. They're bitter, angry little people. Your own Greyjoy didn't come here for that. What did he come here for that? To hit the queen. A queen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dang, Jamie. You're going to be the third wheel again, Pops. There's no shot Jamie's about to take a third wheel to this dude. He needs to, no, he needs to go on, Jamie does. The moment I was chosen Lord of the Iron Island, he turned on me. They stole my best ships and ran. It's nothing compared to the trees and you suffered at the hands of a family member, from what I hear. But still, it bothers me. Murdering them would make me feel a lot better. And since it appears that all our treasonous family members are fighting for the same side, I thought we rightful monarchs murder them together. We rightful monarchs. He's like not afraid. You're not a rightful monarch, though. Well, we should be. The Great Joys rebelled against the throne for the right to be monarchs, but as I recall, you were soundly defeated. Come to mention it, weren't you the one who started that rebellion by sailing to Casterly Rock and burning the Lannister fleet? Hey, we just learned about that. You certainly caught us there. Shout out to the history and lore videos. We all made it to the Iron Islands anyway. I was there. I remember very well. I heard so much talk. The best in the world, no one can stop him. When you rushed through the breach and started cutting people down, it was glorious. People I was cutting down were your own kin. <laughs> the place was getting crowded. <laughs> I enjoyed watching it. If you hadn't crushed us, I wouldn't have gone into exile. Oh. If I hadn't done that, I wouldn't be the greatest captain of the 14 seas. Oh, he was learning. Not the most humble. <laughs> You're the queen of a great nation. You don't care about the Iron Islands. There are nothing but rocks and bird shit and, and a lot of very unattractive people. The Iron Fleet, on the other hand, has something else entirely. <laughs> it's the greatest armada Westeros has ever seen. The Iron Fleet, you own the seas. You can defeat the invaders in the east and the pretenders in the north and south. Pretenders. <laughs> Do you want him return? Ever since I was a little boy, I wanted to grow up and marry the most beautiful woman in the world. So here I am, <laughs> with a thousand ships. Man, rehearse this. And two good hands. Oh, low blow. I decline your proposal. Why? You're not trustworthy. You murdered your own brother. You should try it. it feels wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't expect you to trust me outright. In my experience, the surest way to a woman's heart is with a gift, a priceless gift. I won't return to King's Landing until I have that for you. Okay, what's he gonna go get? A priceless gift. Oh no. Name something priceless. A dragon? I was gonna say Tyrion. That's who I thought. Oh yeah, he'd have a lot better chance kidnapping Tyrion than a dragon. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how he's gonna do that. Maybe the answer is in there. Let's go, Sam. Ew. It ain't all what it's cracked up to be, is it? What are they say in Shawshank Redemption? Shitty pipe dreams. Did that give you prison vibes or something? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's the book you can't read. If he had your glasses, he could have read it. How long did you think about that joke? Oh, just then. Man, if he had your big old broad shoulders, he could just ram that <laughs> damn gate down. <laughs> I meant because your prescription's really high. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can go over there and headbutt that Drink thing. Drink liver ever I saw one. Ooh. Triumph of transitory pleasures. I was wondering if you'd considered my proposition. I asked you if, in light of what I'd seen in the north, if I could have access to the restricted area of the library. That area is reserved for maesters. Are you a maester? No. Archmaester. With respect, I've seen them. The army of the dead. The White Walkers. I was sent here to learn how to defeat them, but they all doubt the Walkers ever existed in the first place. Everyone in yeah, the city Yeah, how do you convince people? It's their job. But the tales of the Long Night can't be pure fabrication. 
Too many similarities from unconnected sources. Sources in the restricted area? The very same. The simplest explanation for your grating obsession with the White Walkers is that you're telling the truth and that you saw what you say you saw. So... Occam's razor, baby. You believe me? I do, for different reasons. We are this world's memory, Samuel Tarly. Without us, men would be little better than dogs. Don't remember any meal but the last? Can't see forward to any but the next. When Robert's rebellion was raging, people thought the end was near. The end of the Targaryen dynasty. How will we survive? When Aegon Targaryen turned his eye westward and flew his dragons to Blackwater Rush, the end is near. How will we survive? And thousands of years before that, during the long night, we can forgive them for thinking it truly was the end, but it wasn't. None of it was. The war has stood through it all, and every winter that ever came has ended. You optimistic, bro. Yeah, but looking to the past and predict the future clean isn't always the best idea, though, because things change. He said, clean this up. It's like the Bolton house up in there. I know. Let's go. No, nah, he's going to get kicked out. He's going to get caught. You think so? I mean, yeah, you, man, Sam, you ain't good at stuff, bro. <laughs> like, you can't be running around, sneaking around. Well, it's the middle of the night. Look how loud he is. Ching, ling, ching. Nice. Cop the book. Cop the book. Take two at a time. Nope. He's at an aggressive stance. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> She just says, nope. Oh, she's trying to show out. Oh. <laughs> she's trying to show how <laughs> strong she man. is. You're a lucky man. <laughs> I've heard she beat the hound in single combat. She's a very impressive woman. What do you want, Lord Baelish? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sansa. I want you to be happy. I want you to be safe. I am safe. I'm at home, surrounded by friends. What about happy? Not with you, sneaky finger. What do you want that you do not have? At the moment. Peace and quiet. I like that she talks back to him now. No need to seize the last word, Lord Baelish. I assume it was something clever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, little Cersei. That was she even has the Cersei yeah. hair yeah. right now. In a sense, that's her mother figure. Yeah, for real. She kind of raised her. Why is he still here? Without the veil, Ramsay Bolton would still hold this castle. Littlefinger saved us. That's true. For now. Now y'all's getting circled in. He wants something. Everything. I know exactly what he wants. Sounds like Ed Sheeran. I know, killing it. That is Ed Sheeran. <laughs> <laughs> why is he in the show? <laughs> Bro, I only know like three of his songs. <laughs> I feel like in this world you get beat up for singing like that. It's a pretty song. I've never heard it before. It's a new one. Are you hungry? We've got some rabbit. I don't want to steal your food. You're not stealing, we're offering. Come on, it's going to be a cold night. You shouldn't trust these fellas. I know, she just came across a cult in the damn woods. <laughs> just because they can sing, she's just going to come over here. You heading south? King's Landing. Poor girl. <laughs> <laughs> not so bad, is it? Depends on your taste, I guess. All my life, I wanted to see the Red Keep, the Scepter Baylor, the Dragon Pit. Is she coming for Cersei? They finally make it. They wouldn't let me within a Seems mile like of the Red Keep. The Scepter Baylor's blown to hell, and the Dragon Pit, it's a damn ruin. Worst place in the world. What are you doing in the Riverlands? There's been some trouble with the phrase up at the Twins, so we're part of the army that's been sent to keep the peace. Here you go. Guess first. Oh, no, I couldn't. You don't have enough. But my mother always told me to be kind to strangers. Strangers be kind to you. Your mum and told you a lie. <laughs> You're a long way from home. I'm sure you've had some adventures, though. Endless adventures. They'll be singing about us for a thousand years. <laughs> the truth is, <laughs> when we left home, we couldn't wait to get away. But now we've been gone a while, we can't wait to get home. I just think about my dad out there on his boat all alone. <laughs> my wife's just had our first baby. Boy or girl? Oh, who knows? You think soldiers get ravens with news from home? <laughs> <laughs> That's a Lannister army, I right? A girl. I think it is Why? with the red and stuff. Yeah. Girls take care of their papas when their papas grow old. Boys just go off to fight in someone else's wars. That was deep. Are you old mm -hmm. enough to drink? They ain't not even worried about like the, can, the age walls. <laughs> so these are some damn good guys right here. Is that what it's showing us? That they're not like all bad? Like when my daughter's out in the woods, I hope she comes across <laughs> these dudes. <laughs> it's blackberry wine. I made it myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's these good old boys. <laughs> so why is a nice girl on our own heading to King's Landing? I'm going to kill the queen. <laughs> she was for real. What? You're like, we're protecting her though. So like, oh. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> it's I'm funny, gonna right? Cut her, I'm gonna cut her esophagus out. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna bathe in her blood. <laughs> You're like, oh, so cute little girl. You've got real powerful magic to figure that out. The Lord of Light whispered that in your ear. <laughs> It's gonna be a cold night. Yes, she's... You're a grouchy old bear, aren't you, Clegane? 
<laughs> you want some rum? Too sweet. <laughs> Why are you always in such a foul mood? Experience. That's a good answer. <laughs> Never heard that this one. Seems like a good place to spend the horse is a little emo. The hair in the front, the bangs. These people don't want us here. Seems deserted to me. No livestock. No smoke coming from the chimney. You thought that was scars on his head, didn't you? No, I think that's the spot where he took that guy's silver. That little house. Oh. They're gonna be That's dead. why he I was like, like I, yeah, he didn't want to go there. For a big hard man, you scare easy. I'll tell you what doesn't scare me. Bold cocksuckers like you. <laughs> you think you're fooling anyone with that top knot? <laughs> Bold hunt. Maybe they got some ale hidden away. They don't. He knows. Oh, they'll hang him if they know he kills someone innocent. Remember, they did it to those other people. But I was about to say, but he didn't kill him. He left him. But I they died, and he knew he was going to die. Mm -hmm. True. They froze to death. That's a big moment for me, because that was one of my favorite moments. Like, Brickley Game, when he's like, I do know. I was thinking mm -hmm. of the part. He knew. What's death? A girl died in her father's arms. Both of them covered in blood and a knife at their feet. I'd say they were starving. And rather than let his little girl suffer, he ended it for both of them. Doesn't matter now. No. Doesn't matter now. I've known you a long time, Dundarren. You're not bad. I don't hate you, don't like you, but you're not bad. Thank you, Clegane. But there's nothing special about you. You're right about that. So why does the Lord of Light keep bringing you back? I've met better men than you, and they've been hanged from crossbeams or beheaded. Ned. None of them came back. So why you? You think I don't ask myself that every hour of every day? Why am I here? I don't understand, our Lord. Your Lord. I only know that he wants me alive. If he's so all-powerful, why doesn't he just tell you what the f he wants? Come over here. I like that they call him Clegane instead of the Hound. Don't worry, the fire won't bite. If you want to have him looking to the fire, I want to show you something. What if he sees the stuff? It's my f***ing luck I end up with a band of fire worshippers. <laughs> oh yeah, he don't like the fire. Almost seems like divine justice. If there was, you'd be dead. <laughs> And that girl would be alive. She made a mean rabbit stew, remember? What do you want? Look into the flames. I don't want to look in the damn flames. You saw me bring him back from the dead after you cut him down. Don't you want to know what gave me the power? I keep asking and no one wants to tell me. We you just gotta see it. it. Only the fire can tell you. Character development moment? Because he's like getting close to the fire? What if this cures his fear? Logs burning. Keep looking. You see it? Yeah. Ice. Ice. A wall of ice. The wall. What else? It's where the wall meets the sea. Bro, that's where they're sending them. At East the Watch. Watch. Yeah. yeah. The castle at East Watch. What's gonna happen? A Oof. battle. He sees them. There's a mountain. Looks like an arrowhead. Dead and marching past. How do you see that? Thousands of them. Do you believe me now, Clegane? Do you believe we're here for a reason? Y'all are necessary, crazy. right? They're needed. So that changes his whole paradigm right there. Wow. What is happening? What the hell are you doing, Clegane? <sighs> Burying the dead. No, burn them. Yeah, you gotta burn them, bro. But character development, though, because he's doing that, even. You knew these people. Not really. That's so sad. I tried to wait till everyone was asleep, too. Why don't they know about burning them, though? Like, why are they not, like, making that a priority? Because they don't have an education. They just walk around the woods all day. You know what I mean? Just trying to do the right thing. You're not familiar with that? Mm -mm. Well, boys. Thoris, he seems nice. We asked the father to judge us with mercy. We asked the mother. Oh. To... He's doing his best. I, I don't remember the rest. <laughs> you tried. Bless him. A plus. I'm sorry you're dead. You deserve better, both of you. I'm gonna cry. Man, is the hound top three? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I love him. Such a good character. Ever since he told Joffrey FM. Legends of the Long Night. Good job. Oh, I love that she can read too. Shout the out to Shireen. Dragons used Dragonglass to decorate the weapons without even knowing what the first men used it for. Whoa. <gasps> That's that knife that the tried to kill Brian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was Tyrion, right? I think so. What is it? It's a map of Dragonstone. The Targaryens built their first stronghold there when they invaded Westeros. That's Dragonglass. A mountain of it. A mountain of Dragonglass and Dragonstone. So there's hope. We can fight the army. This is important. John needs to know. Yes. Yeah, 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 for sure. Raven, 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 Raven. Yeah, you better. Yo, so there's a whole mountain of it under there. So they can mine it for weapons, maybe? Dragonglass is in Dragonstone. Let's go. Where 
Daenerys's room. Right. Th they're probably going to have to ask her for it if she like goes there. She's going to go and take control of it. Yeah. And they're going to have to convince her. <gasps> Crazy. I hope that's what happens. Man, let's go. Ugh. <gasps> Shoot. Is that grayscale? Has she come yet? <gasps> Jora. Hmm. Daenerys Stormborn. Oh. Haven't heard anything. So he's trying to heal himself there. At the Citadel. I never yeah. thought. Yeah, because that's where the answer would be, right? Okay, where are you going? Where are you going? To your home? Look at that costume. Did you see her hair? That job's so crazy. Yes. Girl, how you did that without a curl without a curl on her? <laughs> <laughs> it's called dragon. It's called the dragon twirl. She just wrapped around a dragon tail. Yeah. Look at them. Why am I so hyped for her to get go to Westeros? I don't know why. Well, because something's got to change. This place is damn corrupt. Look at her. And it's failing. We home, baby. This dragon's like, I call the big bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely sick. I know, that's insane. Can y'all comment below where this is actually at? Please. Like, yeah, where like, do they film this show? Let us know all the countries and areas. Because some of these shots are crazy. Like, where's King's Landing? Dang, touchdown, baby. She said... She said, I gotta get out of the house and touch sand. So she's very nostalgic, huh? Yeah, this has been since season one. She's been ready to come back here and she's here, season seven. She said, I've been trying to get back here since I was about Tyrion size. So. <laughs> <laughs> this is what she said. Wow. Basically, it has her initials on it. Yeah, Stannis just kind of abandoned it, didn't he? And if you're Tyrion, you better really hope this woman wins because you're gonna get it terribly if she doesn't. Amen. Oh my goodness, dude. I hope the leeches still aren't there from when they like put them all over Gendry. Oh, let's go. We get the tour. Oh, the sigil. She said, get that nasty ass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get this out of here. It's... Whoa. That throne is sick. I That's know. the coolest looking one. Toys. Toys. That's the oh. battle board. <gasps> That's, That's where Stannis the... and M Melisandre conceived. Yeah, that, <laughs> that is true. That's their war room though, right? Yeah. I just saw a baby ship, so I thought it was like her old toys. What? She just rubbed her fingers across the fingers. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Making her way to King's Landing. It was made for Targaryens, that house. So shall we begin? The grind don't stop, baby. What are the Dorthraki going to do? Just go hang out on the beach? Chill in the castle? No, nah, they come in. They in the West Wing. Uh, guys, I mean, shoot. What do we even say? That was... This show's getting better. Yeah. This show really is catching a stride right now. I really do believe that. I like how it's just changing on its head, but still the same story. You know what I'm saying? It's just but completely different. We're back with episode two, Stormborn. Guys, we just realized it's our channel's birthday today. Yeah. So... Happy One birthday, year. happy birthday. <clears throat> there we go. This show is going crazy. I hope it shows Targaryens at Dragon Zone, like the Targaryen flag. Game of Thrones, the Throne, Throne, Thrones. Sorry, I'm just playing it cool because I'm getting real serious right now. Let's go. Let's throne, go, let's go. Throne, throne, throne. Is there Targaryen flags? Not yet. Say, so, ooh, girl, that's some nice dragon glass you got there. <laughs> I need some. But I can't <laughs> believe they actually built those a thousand ships. I just they were fire ships too. <laughs> yeah, they built the hell. Oh out my of them. gosh. They could have been on the road a lot sooner if they wouldn't have put all that detail in them. I know. <clears throat> One day somebody was like, You guys crack me up because the music's playing. I start playing the violin while the cello's playing. <laughs> 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 That's what I, I said the very first time too. I said I picture someone playing a violin hard as hell, and someone was like, "But it's a cello." Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> that is so sick. On a night like this, you came into the world. I remember that storm. All the dogs in King's Landing howled through the night. I wish I could remember it. I always thought this would be a homecoming. It doesn't feel like home. We won't stay on Dragonstone for long. Oh, she doesn't like it. It's lonely and cold. Not so many lions. Cersei controls fewer than half the Seven Kingdoms. The lords of Westeros despise her. Even before your arrival, they plotted against her. They cry out for their true queen. They drink secret toasts to my health. 
<laughs> Not he necessarily. He used to tell my brother that sort of thing, and he was stupid enough to believe him. If Viserys had three dragons and an army at his back, he'd have invaded King's Landing already. Conquering Westeros would be easy for you, but you're not here to be Queen of the Ashes. No. We can take the Seven Kingdoms without turning it into a slaughterhouse. That was a good line, Tyrion. If the Great right. Houses support your claim against Cersei, the game is won. Powerful allies in the South. I never properly thanked you for that. They joined our side, my queen, because they believe in you. You served my father, didn't you, Lord Varys? I did. And then you served the man who overthrew him? I had a choice, your grace. Serve Robert Baratheon or face the headman's axe. But you didn't serve him long. You turned against him. Robert was an improvement on your father, to be sure. There have been few rulers in history as cruel as the Mad King. Robert was neither mad nor cruel. Just drunk. He simply had no interest in being king. When I was ready to drink myself into a small coffin, Lord Varys told me about a queen in the east. Before I came to power, you favored my brother, all your spies, your little birds. Did they tell you Viserys was cruel, stupid, and weak? Would those qualities have made for a good king, in your learned opinion? Until your marriage to Carl Drogo, your grace, I knew nothing about you save your existence and that you were said to be beautiful. So you and your friends traded me like a prize horse to the Dothraki? Which you turned to your advantage. Who gave the order to kill me? Uh oh. Oh. She cut Tyrion all the way off. King Robert. Who hired the assassins? Who sent word to Essos to murder Daenerys Targaryen? Your grace. I did what it had to be done. To keep yourself alive. Lord Varys has proven Car, himself right? a loyal servant. Proven himself loyal, quite the opposite. If he dislikes one monarch, he conspires to crown the next one. What kind of a servant is that? The kind the realm needs. Right, a servant to the realm. should not be rewarded with blind loyalty. As long as I have my eyes, I'll use them. I wasn't born into a great house. I came from nothing. I was sold as a slave and carved up as an offering. When I was a child, I lived in alleys, gutters, abandoned houses. You wish to know where my true loyalties lie? Not with any king or queen, or with but with the people. people. Mm -hmm. The people who suffer under despots and prosper under just rule. The people whose hearts you aim to win. Grey Worm can behead me, or your dragons can devour me. But if you let me live, I will serve you well. I will dedicate myself to seeing you on the Iron Throne, because I choose you. Because I know that people have no better chance than you. I believe him. I think I do. Swear this to me, Varys. If you ever think I'm failing the people, you won't conspire behind my back. Just talk to her, dude. You'll look me in the eye as you have done today, and you'll tell me how I'm failing them. I love that. I swear it, my queen. That was sick. I hope she accepts it that day, though, you know? Yeah, because you know how that's going to be. When yeah. Cool. Like, how many more arguing? <laughs> if you ever betray me, I'll burn you alive. Mm -hmm. I would expect nothing less from the mother of dragons. <laughs> I like, love that. Forgive me, my queen. A red priestess from Ashai has come to see you. She basically just said, I'm fair. I'm, I'm tough, but I'm fair. That's what she said. Red priestess, huh? It's Melly. It's Melly. She once served another who wanted the Iron Throne. It didn't end well for Stannis Baratheon, did it? No, it didn't. You chose an auspicious day to arrive at Dragonstone. They don't be trying to pass the blame. You just decided <laughs> to pardon those who once served the wrong king. Right. <laughs> just hush. See? <laughs> the Lord of Light doesn't have many followers in Westeros, does he? Not mm. yet. But even those who don't worship the Lord can serve his cause. What does your Lord expect from me? Bosses bantis amazis. That's impressive. Prince who was promised will bring the dawn. I'm afraid I'm not a prince. Your translation is not quite accurate. That noun has no gender in High Valyrian, so the proper translation for that prophecy would be the prince or princess who was Ooh. promised will bring the dawn. Doesn't That's a really rival. Roll off the tongue, does it? No, but I like it better. <laughs> and you believe this prophecy refers to me? Prophecies are dangerous things. I believe you have a role to play. As does another, the She's king of the wiser. north, Jon Snow. Jon Snow, Ned Stark's bastard. You know him. Y'all once had a snarky conversation. Mm -hmm. Traveled with him to the wall when he joined the Night's Watch. And why do you think the Lord of Light singled out this Jon Snow, aside from the visions you've seen in the flames, that is? As Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, he allowed the wildlings south of the wall to protect them from great danger. As king in the north, he has united those wildlings with the northern houses, so together they may face their common enemy. He sounds like quite a man. <laughs> Summon Jon Snow. 
Let him stand before you and tell you the things that have happened to him. The things that he has seen with his own eyes. He died. I can't speak to prophecies or visions in the flames, but I like Jon Snow and I trusted him, and I am an excellent judge of character. <laughs> <laughs> if he does rule the North, he would make a valuable ally. Jon Snow has even more reason to hate Cersei than you do. Yeah, for real, for real. Very well. Send a raven north. Yes. Why do I got to know that his queen invites him to come to Dragonstone? His I got a feeling this is about to get ancestral. Bend right? the knee. Oh, he's king in the north, though, and he demands free people. But yeah, he's not. Oh, he's not going to do it. He's not going to do it. And they're related. And you know how they're always like, you know, like keeping it in the bloodline. You know what I'm saying? Someone well, he don't know that, though. And she don't know that. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> you see where it's going? Um, All dwarves are bastards in their father's eyes. What does that mean? It's something he said to me the first night we met. You know him better than any of us. All right, that's your ex. What do you think? <laughs> Tyrion's not like the other Lannisters. He's always <laughs> kind to me, but it's too great a risk. The Seven Kingdoms will bleed as long as Cersei sits on the Iron Throne. Join us. Together we can end her tyranny. Her tyranny. <laughs> Sounds like a charmer. Casual mention of a Dothraki horde, a legion of unsullied and three dragons. A bit less charming. <laughs> yeah, that's scary, dude. Y'all stack. <laughs> Fire kills whites, you told me. What breathes fire? Yes. You're not suggesting John meet with her. No, too dangerous. But but if the army of the dead makes it past the wall, do we have enough men to fight them? Not really. But dragons would help. If the Mad King's daughter takes the Iron Throne, she'll destroy the realm as we know it. Some of you are bannermen of House Tyrell, but House Tyrell is in open rebellion against the crown. With their help, the Mad King's Randall. daughter has ferried an army of savages to our shores. Mindless, unsullied soldiers who will destroy your castles and your holdfasts. Dothraki heathens who will burn your villages to the ground and butcher your children without a second thought. This is how Olena Tyrell rewards centuries of service and loyalty. Jane. You will remember the Mad King. You remember the horrors he inflicted upon his people. His daughter is no different. In Essos, her brutality is already legendary. She crucified hundreds of noblemen in Slaver's Bay. And when she grew bored of that, she fed them to her dragons. <laughs> it is my solemn duty to protect the people, and I will, but I need your help, my lords. We must stand together, all of us, if we hope to stop her. Oh, Cersei. Cersei's different, dude. Like, that lady <laughs> has an actor. three full-grown dragons, your grace. How do you propose to stop them? We are currently at work on a solution. You got one of those arrows. Which ones? The ones like in The Hobbit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Aim for the breastplate. <laughs> Sir Jamie, I believe you know my son. Oh, it's Dickon. Rickon, isn't it? Dickon. That's it. The other lords of the Reach look to you for guidance now more than ever. They might not have come if you hadn't. If my queen summons me, I answer the call. And I've heard what she does to those who defy her. <laughs> you ride for Horn Hill today? It's a long ride back to the Reach, Sir Jamie. How may I serve? <laughs> I want you to be my ranking general in the wars to come. Including Elena Tyrell. Absolutely including her. I'm a Tali. That may mean something. We're not oath breakers, we're not schemers. We don't stab our rivals in the back or cut their throats at weddings. Just our sons. I've known Elena since I was a child. She was a great woman once. Now she's broken. She wants revenge so badly she brought the Dothraki to our shores. The Dothraki in Westeros for the first time in history. I know you don't like my sister. Do you fight with us or with foreign savages and eunuchs? When the war is won, the queen will need a new warden of the south. They always have to bribe them with you know, that. That's I know. The infection has spread too far. You should have cut off your arm the moment you were touched. I told him that. How long? The history of war said it doesn't matter, though. Right. I still told Years him that. before it kills you. Could be ten. We're 20. I'm the cure. <laughs> Pardon, Archmaester. I met Stannis Baratheon's daughter at Castle Black. She had the grayscale as a baby and was cured. Does this look like a baby to you? This is quite advanced and beyond our skills, son. Should we send word to your family, sir? Jorah. Jorah Mormont. <gasps> Sam's gonna yeah. love that. Mormont? There's no need. I've been dead to them for years. Now Sam has to help him, right? Because he knows his dad, yeah. yeah. Have you ever been down here, your grace? No, I can't say I have. I haven't seen these since Is Robert that the little dragon? The little dragon, yeah. Curious that King Robert did not have them destroyed. They were his trophies. He couldn't keep them around. They would have made him look small. Sometimes he would come down here and look at them. I believe he brought his whores on occasion. <laughs> That's our Robert. <laughs> or in his way to an early grave. So he goes. on the dread. The beast that Aegon rode across the sea. Ooh. His flames forged the Iron Throne and brought the Seven Kingdoms to heal. Powerful, but not invincible. 
Apparently, one of Daenerys's dragons was wounded by spears in the fighting pits of Myrie. They can be wounded, they can be killed. It is just like, like the Hobbit. Hobbit. What in the world? Smith and King's Landing have been laboring day and night, Your Grace. I mean, good luck, bro. You got one chance in your life right. to hit it. They better be a sharp <clears throat> shooter. You better have Legolas on the on the sticks. I was about to say, you better go get damn Hawkeye. Hawkeye or Legolas. Not Cersei Lannister. Oh, and it crushed the skull. If you want the Iron Throne, take it. We have an army, a fleet, and three dragons. We should hit King's Landing now, hard, with everything we have. King of the Ashes the and all that. The city will fall within a day. If we turn the dragons loose, tens of thousands will die in the firestorms. It's called war. You don't have the stomach for it. Scurry She's back into hiding. I know how you wage war. We don't poison little girls here. Oh, Her that's so was innocent. She was a Lannister. There are no innocent Lannisters. He's like... My greatest regret is that Oberyn died fighting for you. That's enough. Though Tyrion is Hand of the Queen, you will treat him with respect. Ooh. Like, all right. I am not here to be queen of the ashes. That's very nice to hear. Of course, I can't remember a queen who was better loved than my granddaughter. The common people loved her. The nobles loved her. What is left of her now? Ashes. ashes. Commoners, nobles, they're all just children, really. They won't obey you unless they fear you. I'm grateful to you, Lady Elena, for your counsel. I'm grateful to all of you. But you have chosen to follow me. I will not attack King's Landing. We will not attack King's Landing. Then how do you mean to take the Iron Throne? By asking nicely? <laughs> we will lay siege to the capital surrounding the city on all sides. Cersei will have the Iron Throne, but no food for her army or the people. But we won't use Dothraki and Unsullied. Cersei will try to rally the Lords of Westeros by appealing to their loyalty, their love for their country. If we besiege the city with foreigners, we prove her point. Our army should be Westerosi. And I suppose we are providing the Westerosi. You are. Lady Greyjoy will escort you home to Sunspear. She'll love it there. The Iron Fleet will ferry the Dornish army back up to King's Landing. The Dornish will lay siege to the capital, alongside the Tyrell army, two great kingdoms united against Cersei. Your master plan is to use our armies. Forgive me for asking, but why did you bother to bring your own? In case y'all say no. <laughs> the Unsullied will have another objective. Where y'all go? For decades, House Lannister has been the true power in Westeros, and the seat of that power is Costly Rock. Grey Worm and the Unsullied will sail for the rock and take it. Oh, man. Who has it right now? Not Uncle Kevin. He dead. So she doesn't want to go in there swinging like that, right? But right. everyone else is so, like, beat up and, like, tired and angry. Well, they're you saying they mean? could easily take it right now, too. Right. Plus, they're angry. Yeah. They're all angry. They want blood. Thank you all. Oh, Lady Elena, may I speak with you alone? I like Lady Elena wearing black now. Like, you notice that? I realize you're here out of hatred for Cersei and not love for me. But I swear to you, she will pay for what she's done. And we will bring peace back to Westeros. Peace? Do you think that's what we had under your father? Or his father? Or his? I mean, no, she's heard the story. Peace never lasts, my dear. Will you take a bit of advice from an old woman? He's a clever man, your hand. I've known a great many. Clever men. I've outlived them all. Uh -huh. You know why? I ignored them. The lords of Westeros are sheep. Are you a sheep? She's a dragon. No. You're a dragon. Be a dragon. I Angry. like that. That's first, if I could just have a moment. This is your moment. Use it wisely. I may have found a way to treat Sir Jorah. <gasps> There are Ow. two recorded cases of advanced grayscale being cured. I found the procedure in the study of rare diseases by Archmaster Pylos. I'm familiar with Archmaster Pylos, his study of rare diseases. Oh, you are? Yes. Shall I tell you how he died? Ah, oh, man. In grayscale. Ah. Oh. Procedure's far too dangerous, which is why it's now forbidden. So if you try to cure it, you'll get it. I was wondering why they weren't, like, quarantined away from him, like, in the in that room. Mm-hmm. Who's that, Jorah? Yeah. Yeah, if it says Khaleesi. It's definitely him. What are you doing? He's gonna try to do it. You're Jorah Mormont. The only son of Jorah Mormont. Man, and loyalty lies deep in this show. Sworn brother of the Night's Watch. <laughs> failing to serve as maester at Castle Black. I knew your father. I was with him when he died. You're not dying today, Sir Jorah. Drink this. What is it? Rum. Drink it all, please. I'm afraid this is going to hurt. Oh, Sam's risking a lot, though. He keeps doing a lot of stuff to get kicked out of this place. Oh, he said he needs some too. He's just like Tyrion. You remember when Tyrion was winging it with a book at the war? Mm -hmm. could take off your shirt. <gasps> Looks like he was in a plane crash It's got him good. If you wouldn't mind, bite down hard. Bite down hard? I'm sorry, but no one knows I'm here. And if they hear you screaming, then we both finish. Is he going to peel it? 
Have you ever done this before? No. <laughs> no one else will try it, so I'm the best you've got. Have a seat. Man, he didn't get no time to like mentally prepare. <laughs> he was just chilling, and now he's got to do this. Well, he was going to kill himself. I know. Or escape and leave, because that probably wouldn't. Well, when he wrote the note to Khaleesi, I was figuring... Oh, you think it was like his last yeah. note? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Ooh, I don't want to see it. Too bad Ramsey's not here. He would be great. <laughs> Again, I'm sorry. Please try not to scream. There's no way. That's way too much. That's way too much. I, when you had it on your arm like that, easy peasy, but... Boy, that just looks like Chick-fil-A sauce coming out. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> it does. Bro, sawing it off. <laughs> He's that doing was all just this one get, little drop. Yeah, he's doing all this to get back to Khaleesi. The things I've endured for you, Khaleesi. Yeah. Oh, that's food. That's, that's some chicken pot pie, bro. Bro, <laughs> why y'all did that? If she lays siege to King's Landing, the prices will triple as long as we get back there before they start. Harry! <gasps> hot pie. Hello, hot pie. Ah! Who's that for? He, he looks so older. much older, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that five o'clock shadow. <laughs> This is good. You think so? Secret. It's browning the butter before making the dough. Mm -hmm. Most people don't do that because it takes up too much time. Can't believe you're in. Did you meet the big lady? Big lady. The lady knight? She was looking for your sister, but I told her about you. Oh, no. no. She found me. Remember when they were like, do you think just because you have an armor, it makes you a knight? Remember? And then he, that was a little callback. Hey, you know, you know what else, though? You know what, that when she said, how far is the bloody gate? Mm -hmm. Well, when I saw on the map, it was actually called the bloody gate. They weren't just saying it like Yeah. That. Yeah. <laughs> I thought they were saying, how far is the bloody gate? Yeah. Like, rushing. Like they're British or something? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what happened to you, Harry? You got any ale? The hound's She's acting like Clegane. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you heading? King's Landing. Why? That says he's green now. Heard she blew up the great set. There must have been something to see. Boom. So she would do that. I thought you'd be heading for Winterfell. Why would I go there? The Boltons have it. No. The Boltons are dead. Course right. correction. Jon Snow came down from Castle Black of a Wilding Army and won the Battle of the Bastards. He's King of the North now. Yes. You're lying. Why would I lie about that? He's your brother, right? She didn't know. That's so sad. Do you think she's still going to go south? Nah, she looks like she's in a hurry. Yeah, you got to go to Winterfell, baby. Friends don't pay. Can't believe I thought you were a boy. <laughs> You're pretty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Aww. Take care of yourself, hot pie. Try not to get killed. No, I won't. I'm like you, Harry. I'm a survivor. He's just making pies. I can't believe there was a time she wanted to gut him. Winterfell. This show's starting to feel like sad a lot. Yeah. Because like, the, like a these full circle moments hurt a little bit. They do because I feel like, like that's the last yeah. time we're gonna see hot pie. Yeah. It feels like they're coming full circle to not. You know. <sighs> it's like they're closing that. And the next time we see him, like something bad will happen. A raven, my king, from the citadel. <gasps> Come see him. Dragon glass. This message was sent to me by Samuel Tarly. He was my brother at the Night's Watch, a man I trust as much as anyone in this world. He's discovered proof that Dragonstone sits on a mountain of dragon glass. Aye. We need that. I received this a few days ago from Dragonstone. Daenerys. It was sent to me by Tyrion Lannister. A traitor. He is now Hand of the Queen to Daenerys Targaryen. She intends to take the Iron Throne from Cersei Lannister. Mm. She has a powerful army at her back, and if this message is to be believed, three dragons. Lord Tyrion has invited me to Dragonstone to meet with Daenerys. And to see those dragons. I'm going to accept. Yeah, cause... We need this dragon yes. glass, my lord. We need to mine it and turn it into weapons. But more importantly, we need allies. The Night King's army grows larger by the day. And Daenerys hasn't seen the Night King's army. Okay. We don't have the numbers. Daenerys has her own army and she has dragon fire. And we need I that. I need to try and persuade her to fight with us. Yes. So Davos and I will ride for White Harbor tomorrow. Then sail for Dragonstone. Have you forgotten what happened to our grandfather? The Mad King invited him to King's Landing and roasted him alive. He is here to reclaim the Iron Throne and the Seven Kingdoms. This isn't an invitation, it's a trap. It could be, but I don't believe Tyrion would do that. You know him. He's a good man. Your grace with respect, I must agree with Lady Sansa. I remember the oh, Mad King man. too well. The veil over the here Targaryen talking. cannot be trusted, nor can a Lannister. Go tell him what to do, little finger. We called your brother king. And then he rode south and lost his kingdom. Winter is here, your grace. No. We need the king in the north in the north. Come on. This is so tough. You all crowned me your king. I never wanted it. But I accepted it 
Because the North is my home. It's part of me, and I will never stop fighting for it, no matter the odds. But the odds are against us. None of you have seen the Army of the Dead. None of you. We can never... We need allies. Powerful allies. I know it's a risk, but I have to take it. Then send an emissary. Don't go yourself. Daenerys is a queen. Only a king can convince her to help us. Sansa might go. It has to be me. You're abandoning your people. You're yeah, abandoning she's gonna have to be home. in charge. I'm leaving both in good hands. Whose? Yours. There you go, yeah. Yes. You're probably right. You are She's a true Stark. You're yes. the only Stark in Winterfell. Hey, let's go. Until I return, the North is yours. Woo, 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 woo. Look, she's like, okay, I guess you can go now. <laughs> Littlefinger wants to freaking get with her so bad. If he can just do Sansa, checkmate. But she's annoyed by his existence. He's like, all right, go ahead. Leave me in charge. I delivered his bones myself. Presented them to Lady Catelyn as a gesture of goodwill from Tyrion Lannister. Seems like a lifetime ago. Do give Lord Tyrion my best when you see him. I was sorry when he died. Your father and I had our differences, but he loved Kat very much. So did I. She wasn't fond of you, was she? Well, it appears she vastly underestimated you. Your father and brothers are gone, yet here you stand, king in the north. Last best hope against the coming storm. Tell his ass, John. You, you don't belong down here. Tell his ass, John. Right. Why are you in their crypts? <laughs> we haven't ever talked properly. I wanted to remedy that. I have nothing to say to you. Not even thank you. Oh yeah, you do kind of got to say that. Me, you'd have been slaughtered on that battlefield. Yeah, whatever, bro. You have many enemies. You'd win next. To you, I'm not one of them. I love Sansa. <clears throat> I loved her mother. Yes. Yeah, I feel like John does. Touch my sister, and I'll kill you myself. Yeah, little finger, you didn't think that one through, did you? Yeah, what the heck were you doing? <laughs> a fine sister indeed you got there, John. <laughs> You're going to be in the, in their crypts talk, talking creepy? And a creepy. fine stepmother. Yeah, right in front of your freaking her dad. The dead? All of the dead Sarks? Maybe you did it on purpose to get John Height. You got this, Sansa. Don't burn it down. <laughs> She's like, but I'm the dark phoenix. Remember to get the lint out the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, he's like... Oh. He's got to go, man. Let's vote him out. Seriously. I hope I have two votes tonight. What if he has an idol, though? <sighs> we got to drop does. a vote on somebody else. <laughs> Who's second? Mm, Cer Cersei. <laughs> vote her ass out. <laughs> Just so you know, in my mind, the face of this show is Cersei, though. Nah. Just in my mind. She's the she's the character. Mine's Daenerys and Jon, both at the same time. And, and Arya. Oh, snarling. Hey. <laughs> Recruit them. Right. Opportunities. Don't look at yours. <gasps> hey, that's hers. Nymeria. Let's go. Whoa. Hey, girl, remember me? Yeah, she big as hell. She's been out there eating crocodiles and buffaloes. Nymeria? <gasps> Come on. Oh, God. Why is this scaring me? Nymeria, it's me. Oh, yeah. We bit Joffrey together, remember? I'm heading north, girl. Back to Winterfell, I'm finally going home. Come with me. No, she can't. She's got a family now. Aww. Come with me. No. She said, I heard you were no one. What do you think the symbolism was there? That's not you. That it was a different wolf? I don't know. <laughs> like what? Maybe she thought she was no one? Guys, let us know in the comments. What did that mean? I sort of missed that. Maybe she's like, you're not really a Stark right now, so. Right now, yeah, yeah, go get your title you back. You can't have them all, it's not fair. How can you drink this piss? When we reach Sunspear, I'll treat you to a Dornish red. The best in the world. Have you ever been to Dorn? A few times. That's, that's why I said she'd love it <laughs> there. Can we get some more? Oh, hell no, I'd slap her ass Oh, he's the cup bearer? <laughs> a taste for it. He's not your servant. He's fine. You're gonna be queen of the Iron Islands. Once I kill my uncle. And what will you be, handsome? You'll be my advisor, my protector. Oh, I see. So if someone gets too close to you, you might have to intervene to hold that person back until they've made their intentions known. A foreign invasion is underway. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like you don't need a protector. I guess that's how they're going to join their houses. Stay here. She told that lady to stay there. I know, like that's her name. She just hopped into the name Protector Roll. <laughs> Is it Euron? Is he gonna be the Red Kraken, like in the lore? Euron. Yeah. <laughs> speak of the devil. Speak of the Kraken. <laughs> they really do just ram this out of the ship. I know. Don't they? That, wow. 
I was just playing Skull and Bones doing that to people. That game sucked, by the way. <laughs> Dang! Dude, he's for real. He's in the trenches. That was the hardest moment I've seen in this whole series. <laughs> Delivered. He don't care about the future of his house at all. He just puts himself on the front line, don't he? You gotta respect a leader like that, yeah. though. I'm always for him. Kind of like Tyrion. <laughs> for real. <laughs> hey, Yara's in the trenches too, though. Hey, what if Euron kills one of them? The honor Yara. Oh. Your mother's below deck. Keep her safe. <laughs> Fight him up, sand snakes. There's the fleet. The fleet's gone. So this is the gift, I guess. It's gone, man. What's gonna happen? So they kind of needed Euron in this show because without Euron, that would have kind of that would have ended Cersei. But they needed him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying because it wouldn't have made sense without him. Right, because uh, she wouldn't have had no like no fleet. One. Yeah. yeah. Are they not killing this man? Oh, she went. I wish I could tell who. <gasps> Obera. There's one. That was Oberyn's pride and joy right there, boy. Uh-oh. This man took out the sand snakes? No way. Strangled them. Oh, three of them. Uh-oh. Kill us. Get it over with. She grabbed something. Poison. She's got poison. You see her oh, grab poison, that? Yeah. She grabbed a vial or something. Uh, She's you probably think she'll just take it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Before sure. they, like, 100%. torture her. Here we go. The 1v1 we need. Give your uncle a kiss. <laughs> You're, You're so annoying. <laughs> I'll be really pissed if he kills one of them, honestly. Whoa. This shot is insane with all the embers floating around. Yeah. Side. It's making it really hard to see who's winning. Maybe Theon can get him. Come on, Theon. What are you going to do? I have a... Come and get her. He's trembling. Oh, he can see a Ramsey right now. What is... Oh, he sees people getting cut and he just is get... having PTSD. Mm-hmm. Don't come betray on, your sister on, again, again, dude. Come on, Theon. Uh -uh. Did he just jump off the boat? Why am I so disappointed? You better be swimming around the back of that boat to stab him in the head or something. Please have a plan. Please tell me that was calculated. Crazy. And it's a full moon. All right, guys, that might have been the best start to a season yet. Yes. It's hard to say. It's I would always say this every season, but geez louise. <sighs> Babe, talk about it. So basically, we, the Octobers, are here to say that we underestimated your own Greyjoy. We thought he was just kind of like coming out of nowhere, but it seems to us that he has a fleet. He has the ability to do a couple things, and he did it. He's a real log rider, man. He, uh... He rode that thing all the way down, hop ship, basically took over. And at the end of the day, man, Dion jumped right off the boat into the water, left his sister. That's the second time he's betrayed her. I don't, I, I don't know, I don't know what to say about, about that. Dion I don't right know now. what to say. I mean, I hope, I hope he had a reason. <laughs> I mean, maybe he just, I mean, you know, obviously you could go fight and die for pride. You know, you, you could take that route. Or you could say to yourself, I lost. I'm going to jump off this boat and live to fight another day because, you know, and it's maybe it's over. Maybe clearly. if I do a good enough job, I can convince everyone that the reason I've done it is because ultimately I just care about the future of my house. And I think that like he's unfit and I just, you know, I had to self preserve so I can, you know, come back and fix things. You might could convince people that I think he that was, was just tough. scared. But, but, but at the end of the day, you really think that man's about to swim to freedom? Like it's he's in the middle of the sea and fiery waters. Like, come so on. So you think he's dead? I have no idea. I mean, he's a main but, character. But he, but he's, he's ironborn though. Like he, he, He's like a fish. Oh yeah, they're like they're krakens. Yeah, they're krakens. They yeah. can they can drown and come back. Yeah. They're good. They're good. So guys, man, basically at the end of the day, Sam is sitting there and he's not satisfied with what he's learning. Well, he's learning a lot and maybe reading all these books, you could really put some stuff together, but we're talking a time scale of years here and we don't yeah. have that. And he he needs to figure out what to do to stop these white walkers because he feels like no matter who he tells they just don't really believe him. Like, so what's he do? He starts scheming, right? Yeah. Dude? All right. And then he breaks in and he steals some books, which I personally think that he's going to get caught because he's breaking a lot of rules. In right. The but at the same time, man, sometimes rules are meant to be broken. And given the circumstances, maybe it's for the best that he breaks these rules. Right. Because time is definitely a factor. He ha yeah. And he has time with Jorah. Like he has, he, Jorah has six months to live. But Sam, but he's he's exiled the next day. So Sam has like one night to try to do. Well, he's this. got twenty years to live, six months until his mental capacity yeah. is gone for sure. Mm -hmm. Right. Sam decided I'm gonna just risk it all to try to save it because of the name. Right. Which, right. This, which, well, which, and he has to leave the next day. Like they gave him the. Tr he has to go back to the stone men the next day. Right. Exactly. 
So he's got one day to figure it out, and he's just risking it, which I love that, man, because that really speaks to Sam's character. And he, you know, Sam shows a lot of parallels to Sam in Lord of the Rings, and I heard that that was actually intentional, so I love that. Yeah, maybe. Sam's such a <laughs> neutral, soft, nice name. How can you not love a Sam? Right. You know? Another thing that happened is Varys is sitting there talking to Daenerys in this, and I thought that their, in, their conversation was very interesting because... Basically, he had to answer for all of his sins in the past, and he basically came out and said what we always need to be true. He doesn't He doesn't give a flying squirrel about who's supposed to be the ruler. He doesn't care about any of that. Ultimately, what he cares about is the people of the realm. Yeah, man, because that's what he grew up doing. And we did learn a lot about <coughs> well, Barris in so the history and lore, mm -hmm. do we not? Especially yeah. about his upcoming and how they had to steal for food. And, and how, how they... he made he made the little whispers. Uh, right. Yeah, the, ma the little, what are they called? The little not... words. Little birds, right. not little whispers. What the heck? Right, the little the little kids, man, who don't have anything, who just need purpose in a job, and you know, and we learned a lot about that, and I thought that was really powerful. The conversation held between those two, it was a very mm -hmm. mature conversation. You know, some conversations seem to be more realistic and mature than others. Mm -hmm. And Daenerys basically pulled up, but she said a really interesting thing. She said that she's home, but it doesn't feel like home. Right, and that's because I think like her brother gave her this like this romantic fantasy about how she's going to come home and they're going to be like, our queen's here to save us. Woohoo. And like, no one even knows she exists really. They're like, we're dealing with some drama in King's Landing ourselves. Like we don't have time for this. We don't even have food right now. Cause the Tyrells cut off our grain source. Right. So like all the turmoil that's going on is no one knows about Daenerys. Like, She's just kind of a fairy tale because so are the dragons. The Everything's fairy a fairy tale. Yeah. The dragons, the White Walkers, Winter. It's just making it's making a lot of really interesting parallels because everything sort of has to come to a head because mm -hmm. I feel like winter's coming, but I'm not sure how the show is going to convince everyone right. of what's happening. You get what like I'm saying? it's it's almost as if like because it showed that John had to go to hard home and with uh, the wildlings to kind of show exactly like what's at stake here. And it's like they have to have a moment with a White Walker or the Night King to really show them what what's at stake. Yeah. Like uh, some main characters are going to have to see that. Right. Right. Don't mind me. I'm just want to make sure we don't miss anything. Well, another thing is John's going to meet with Daenerys, which is a right. big thing. And Sansa is in charge of the of the north, which honestly, you could see in Sansa's face whenever Ramsey was like, and you'll be my wardeness of the north. That's something she's interested in. Like, she really wants to do that, it seems. So it was kind of well, like. Well, she's always had aspirations for power, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and I, I think, like, I saw in these two episodes her acting a lot like Cersei because Cersei always has this, like, she's, like, passive aggressive in her tone with, like, people like Littlefinger and stuff. And Sansa also did that. And then I'm also noticing her hair was like Cersei's in the seasons where Cersei was at her most evil, you know? Right. And then it really forced me to think about the fact that Cersei's really been a parental figure mm -hmm. to her, even though it was one that she feared and stuff. But I mean, hey, it was like the if same you think as like about, an abusive mom, you know? Right. If you think of the Battle of the Blackwater, remember mm -hmm. how she was drinking that whole night, but like really just like. She was making her do it. And yeah. Stuff, just and like being around Sansa. Her, yeah. And, yeah. She was really sizing her up that night. Yeah. Like, that might have been the worst night she ever got it from Cersei yeah. in terms of the episodes. But at the same time, uh, it also appears that she learned to be a little disagreeable from Cersei because her and John are appearing to go at it about every little detail. Ultimate, but ultimately, though, it all comes full circle with John has seen the army of the dead and no right. one else has. So at the end of the day, everyone's playing the Game of Thrones pretty much essentially. But John, right? Like everyone's like, yeah, this is this is what your family's done. This is what your family's done. Yada, yada, yada. But John's like, whatever, like we got to. There's the dead army coming for us. Who cares? Which is interesting, especially seeing Sansa in this position. And Littlefinger, like, all this man has to do is just convince Sansa's heart to feel something for him. And, dude, he'll have, he'll have unlimited the world. power. Exactly, yeah. you know. And he's a very smart character, man. Who knows? Because we learned, actually, in the history of lore, just how powerful the Knights of the Veil vale are. Yeah. Like, 100%. we didn't realize, like, when they came to, like, help john's army it was whatever to us but it was a huge army and that's all we kind of knew about it but we found out in the history of lore that it's not just a big army they're like a really powerful army very yeah 100 percent. one of my favorite scenes in this show uh the, in the first episode was when they were in that little courtyard and they drew the map and they basically created a war room yeah and cersei because it really goes to show that cersei's going all out like kamikaze at this point she knows that 
she's admitted openly like we're either gonna win or we're gonna die so she understands the ramifications especially of where she's led themselves because in the beginning if they would have played their cards different everything would be so different so different but she was crazy you know she's crazy and everyone hated her and it was just really interesting because there's no one left and she said we're just gonna set our own selves up for a dynasty which didn't make any sense but i think that was sort of the point right, right. Like she's not making sense at this point she's just fighting for survival and a big theme of this show has been how other men don't exactly want to fight and die for other people's names and mm -hmm. status you know and i don't know who cersei is really gonna call upon i mean you're like you're on sure but you know how you're on just sort of popped out of nowhere to us mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying it doesn't really seem like it It'd like he it, has enough to make a difference yeah, yeah. especially when the dragons come because what's that fleet gonna do i mean i guess they do have the giant harpoon gun now i guess they're gonna try to moby dick that dragon right moby dick right. that dragon down right but you know what she when everyone was saying hey you need to attack now honestly that might have been a better idea because yeah, that weapon yeah, yeah. is not at its full potential yet and then another thing is is that weapon gonna work like, like who's shooting you know like imagine uh, if they're like all right y'all better call legolas for real imagine they're like all right guys so there's a cheetah running around in the woods but this cheetah breathes fire right and and it flies and i want you to grab this little harpoon gun and go shoot that cheetah like good luck bro like and there's three of them maybe if you guys have like 15 of them all loaded ready to go yeah and they're gonna shoot at once and get it at once but they might that might have been the prototype yeah yeah 100%. that would that could be but with this being said, with that whole war room thing going on with Cersei, it kind of seemed like Jamie was not really feeling that. Like, it, like it didn't seem like he was opposing. Oh, look at the Lannister back there. Sorry, side note, but I didn't notice that. I did. That's sick. I didn't notice. I thought it was just the seven pointed star when Tama was there. It used to be. She yeah. Tore that thing down. Yeah. Oof. Tough. Anyways, the symbolism in the show. No, that's not where I noticed it. Where I noticed it was that scene. You guys know what I'm talking about. What room was it where Taiwan was writing the notes? Yeah, the, the hand of the I tower. Yes, yes, yes. It is in the hand of the tower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one the, that he said he's going to walk Joffrey up. Yeah, it is the tower hand, but right. this used to be the seven pointed star with yeah. Tommen sitting yeah. there. And I think when Joffrey was there. Yeah, just became Lannister. Oh, yeah. So she said, bump religion. Yeah, she said, I'm going to burn this boy. up and put the Lannister thing yeah, here. I'm going to worship Cersei. But I'm kind of noticing in this show, which is really cool, how they're taking out whole families. Arya took out the phrase, just eliminated them. Tyrells are down to one person. Lannisters are down to two and a half. And I'm only saying a half. I'm not saying a half because like of a dwarf joke. I'm saying half because Tyrion doesn't really count as a Lannister. Which really goes to show you how brainwashed this population is. Because if I'm any of those soldiers in King's Landing, I mean, just, you know what I'm saying? It'd just be so easy to take it over. Right. There's two of so. y'all. Like, there's two of you guys. And if you want to count Mountainstein, who might make 20 of you guys, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, that, that makes like 40. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what else happened. Well, basically, another thing, Sam is taking it upon himself to help Jorah because, you know, when people do good things for each other in Westeros, people don't forget. And Jor and Sam's relationship, it wasn't the best, but Sam respected Jor. Um, so he's going to, I guess, heal Jorah, hopefully. Mm hmm. Which, and then another thing, which I know is probably Mrs. October's favorite scene of the show so far, but a young Arya did happen to come across a Grammy Award winning Ed Shireen in the woods. <laughs> also, <laughs> that was my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you always say Jake Gyllenhaal is my favorite actor. So, therefore, Ed Shireen is your favorite singer. Yeah, but if, if, if I'm thinking correctly, if I was to look at our Spotify history, I'm pretty sure you listen to Ed Shireen more than I do. Bro, he's got like two songs in my Spotify. I don't even know which ones they are because I don't listen to them. Yeah, I saw you listen to Ed Shireen Baratheon. I don't think that you did. <laughs> I think you're making things up for the, <laughs> for the two, bro. <laughs> Basically, at the end of the day, man, Clegane had a whole entire paradigm shift because he looked into the fire even you called him clegane though well that's my dog clegane. he's not the hound anymore he's clegane i told y'all i'm really starting to like him he's top three to me mm -hmm. uh, i really like his character development even though he's an absolute bastard <laughs> but um he looked into the fire had a paradigm shift he said he looked in and said east watch walkers and that changed his whole entire paradigm and so he's probably about to take up he's probably about to start pulling up the church um <laughs> uh, we'll see how that works out for him yeah because you know brother ray is the whole reason he gained a second life pretty much yeah and you could really tell the character development because he buried that poor old man and that little girl right which was so sad because i remember in that moment thinking i really hope that this show lets them survive as a way to like 
create a character development moment for the hound mm-hmm. because he was wrong in that moment and he maybe would have realized that he should have been more of like a humanist in that moment instead mm-hmm. of just assuming the worst was going to happen but nah man it turned out just like he thought it would but the character development moment came in a different way so it I thought was that like was really real good. it was like realism to him a lot of the a lot of the reasons i can't like hate on the show you know a lot of people are like oh it gets dumb after season blah 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 the reason i can't really process that and understand that maybe if i saw the show multiple times i could see the difference but i mean dude every time i think something i'm not right you right. know what I'm saying? Like, if I was and, sitting here guessing yeah. everything, there's been a few times where I could, like, guess how the sentence was going to end. But other than that. It's pretty crazy. But if you make 120 YouTube videos and do that every video, you'll get it right every once in a while. Yeah. You really will. Well, oh, yeah. Daenerys had her homecoming. We talked about yeah, how it didn't really that. feel at home. We also had, we also found out that uh, they're going to take Castle Rock, Casterly Rock. So that's what Grey Worm's going to do. Mm-hmm. And... Why is that Casterly Rock? Because they said it's like the stronghold, because it's like the the warden warden of the south takes Casterly Rock. Right. Plus, it's a flex movie because it's Casterly Rock. Like that's a big movie against Cersei. Right. That's the excellent. That's the Lannister right. headquarters, basically. I just think it's really interesting though how everyone is having internal strifes right now. Yeah. Like when it's coming to crunch time, everyone has really good intentions, but the theme sort. Everyone was so united. So like mm-hmm. two bees had a plan and no one really had much to say. I mean, they did in a sense, mm-hmm. right? Especially it was just his thing, side. It was just his side activities. They didn't really like about two bees. Cause he, he wasn't really the most attractive, but he was trying to lead a war at a really weird age at the age or since we get married and stuff. So, but this is just interesting because basically Daenerys has an option. She can be the queen of the ashes or she can be the queen of diplomacy. So, uh, Tyrion's obviously preaching for diplomacy because he always does yeah. because that's Tyrion and that's why we love Tyrion mm-hmm. but at the same time I mean oh man it's just funny because Lady Elena's sitting there telling her be a dragon mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying she's like everyone who so is da- so is Dario Naharis telling her that so like a lot of people are telling her ignore your counsel be a dragon but the whole thing is she hasn't like at, prepared to all the characters prepared to like Cersei and all these people she hasn't been a dragon. Like, right. She's been the breaker of chains. Yeah. So that's the opposite of a dragon. Like a dragon just goes around and like uses Burns. his lizard brain and just eats people because that's like what you would expect like a, a dragon to do. So I don't know, man. I, I like the diplomacy side, but, you know, maybe there's truth to all of it. Maybe she can't be too soft because maybe like, you know, Westeros just isn't a place that requires that. I, I'm really interested. Well, they're, tra- they're trying to tell her, hey, rule by fear, because if people fear you, you know, that's that's better than whatever i guess the i don't know yeah but you only got one chance to set your narrative you're either the one who came to you're the foreigner who came and conquered by fear and you know that's already happened with her dad in a sense mm. well no so, her i know he wasn't dynasty a foreigner, was a thousand years well i mean i know that but he he, he ruled with fear though yeah so like, and ultimately he got murdered their family was outcast and everyone was sort of okay with it right everyone continued to like make new pledges right and be totally they lived on it they want to choose a side that wins oh yeah melisandre made her way to khaleesi too melisandre pulled up yeah so what's what's the deal there she's basically gonna have to convince khaleesi that you need to look into the to the light well they kind of found out that it could be a prince or a princess who's promised so it just happened the translation was just wrong this whole time yeah nobody correct nobody well they didn't have the masande on their side the speaker of 19 languages yeah facts, facts, facts yeah so so masande was like yo it could be her too. And so Mel- Melisandre was like, yeah, it could be her. That's why I'm here. Cause John shunned me Loki, but don't tell anybody. Yeah. Um, so she's there thinking she's the princess who was promised. We saw Randall Tarly kind of say, am I with the Lannisters or am I not? I don't know. Right. We Basically. Know. Yeah. He's with the Lannisters. Arya finally caught up with hot pie. One of the best moments. And then she realized uh, Winterfell is no longer under siege of the Boltons. It's oh, yeah. She was headed Sarks. to Cersei. Right. So she and I think she would have succeeded. But it saved Cersei's life, man, because she would have went and assassinated her. Mm. easy. She could have easily pulled that off. And then Arya could have pretended like she was Cersei, like and did a bunch of crazy stuff. It'd have been easier for her to pull it off down south because she can blend in there easier. You know, like with Walter Frey, everyone there is related to him directly. Mm-hmm. So interesting runs into hot pie man they have a weird little moment which kind of felt like a goodbye moment i don't really know yeah yeah absolutely john you know john has a decision to make does he leave does he leave his people in a time of crisis does he go to dragonstone and meet with the dragon queen which scares the hell out of me because he's gonna have to strike a deal with her 
Daenerys doesn't seem like she's open to negotiation. I don't see how he's going to get Dragon Glass without bending a knee. But do I don't see him bending a knee yeah. for Dragon Glass. So I see conflict there. Yeah. Do you I, not see a parallel yeah. with that though? Because right when John got the Lord Commander spot, immediately right after he has to go talk to Mance. Now he gets this one. He immediately has to go talk to Daenerys. It's kind of weird how he keeps getting in these leadership roles. I guess and when has you're a lead. leader, you got to talk to people. Yeah, but leaders keep, can't lead hiding, hiding in the castle. I right, guess, but sometimes. but always before they have they stay where they are. Well, before they had it. men, before they had enough men to guard the wall, but now mm -hmm. they don't. You know, not necessarily the wall, but now they don't have people. So the North used to be so big and powerful. The wall used to be so big and flourished. But now, I mean, they're having to. They're dwindling. Even yeah, with the wildling around army. everywhere. Yeah. With the wildling army, everything they have right now, even with everybody, I don't think that's going to be enough for the army of the dead. We saw the giants. You know we're, what I'm we're saying? Gonna have to have some magic or something. I don't we know. We saw the giants. So we need some of those bombs the children of the forest have. Oh, and yeah. And then it was so sad. Nymeria. Arya ran into Nymeria. I don't know if that was Nymeria or not. I didn't really understand that. But then he, she goes, it wasn't her or something like that, right? Right. And I, I'm just saying. That I, looked like a dire wolf to me. And it but looked like Nymeria. Maybe that was the show's way of just saying, nah, bro, that wasn't Nymeria. But there are more dire wolves. You just got to go find them. They're rare, but they're out there. I, could, I was thinking that. or And the dog. And the wolf spared her because she recognized that she's a Stark. Because she is a dire wolf after all. Just not her dire wolf. Man, I don't know. I could be tripping. Well, she said Nymeria. It's me, Arya Stark. And then she said it wasn't her. So I was thinking maybe Nymeria just was like, yo, I moved on and have a family. I don't know why she would say that's not her. It wasn't her. It wasn't her fierce Nymeria she knew about. This is her family oriented one. I don't know. Y'all tell us. <laughs> oh, I thought she'd be like, she's a mom now. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Uh, and then obviously, man, at the end of the day, <laughs> fleets are fleeting. Things are chilling. Theon's getting his smirk back. Euron's taking out the sand snakes. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, and then all of a sudden, here comes Euron. Just, he's like, he's like, yeah. <sighs> and crushes like two people when he did it. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely raises hell. Burns the ships. And takes Yara. I think that's the gift maybe that he's going to give Cersei. Yara? He, he's giving her some type of gift. Oh, he said, I'll God. be back with a gift and then goes off. <laughs> but if I was if I was Cersei, though, I might be a little upset at that gift. I would be like, my expectation would be Daenerys's head. I know and you're bringing me <laughs> or this. two or three dragon heads. Right. All right, guys. Uh, that was pretty much it. We'll be back with the next two episodes. These man, I'm telling you what. I don't know if it's because the show's getting better or if it's because I'm getting more invested. But I don't think I've had this much fun at the start of a season yet. So. I know not even when Joffrey died did I have this much fun. Yeah. Which it was, was crazy. such a different show back yeah. then. It feels like a whole It just develops and and you get more invested because you just have spent so much time with these folks. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy how many characters used to be in the show that just aren't here anymore. Right. You know like what I mean? so where's I bet Stannis will come back as a White Walker. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So crazy, man. All right, guys, like, comment, subscribe, hit us up on Patreon if you want to see the uncut. Y'all already know. We'll see you on the next one.